everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the fourth episode in my series, So You Want to Become a Beardy Parent, A. Eh? And today we are going to be talking about substrate. Now this is going to be a very interesting topic to talk about. It's probably going to be a short one, but very interesting things are going to come out of this. So let's get to it. So for substrate, there isn't really much to say about it. There are different kinds of substrate. Um, it's not just necessarily like leaves, leaves or um, mulch or sand or whatnot. You can also use tile, carpet, felt, newspaper, paper towels, or like I said, sand. But sand. Let's talk about sand. So I, I, I filmed this episode before, just so you know, all the way up to episode 8. So once you hit episode 8, I'll start being like, not sound like I've done this before, but anyway. The problem with sand is that if they eat it, it can cause impaction, and you don't want that for your bearded dragon because it can, it could kill them because their intestines are so small, and even though it is sand, it just, it could... It could hurt them really bad. So you could put sand in your tank, but don't put it on the side where they eat. Don't put it in the side where they eat because obviously they're going to eat it when they eat. Unless you have a bowl, then you don't have to do it. So there, there are different kinds of substrate. It doesn't matter what type of substrate you can do or you do, but just be really careful with sand. I know I watched a video from Emzotic. Go follow her if you are really interested. She does a bunch of, she used to work at a zoo, so she has a bunch of random creatures that she has. So go subscribe to her to watch more weird videos. But when she was setting up her bearded dragon tank, she mixed leaves, mulch, sand, um, and small logs in there, and that's good, um, substrate because people think, <sighs> I'm sorry, my nose is really itchy because of allergies, <sighs> and it's just this inside of my nose, and it's so weird. Anyway, bearded dragons came from Australia, they come from Australia, and people think they, that they, that they, that they, that they, that they, that People think that they live in desert climate, and that's not true. They actually live in brush environment, which means there's logs, there's mulch, there's rocks, there's pebbles, stuff like that. So they don't live in like bare desert, all sand and whatnot, as people think they do. That's why pets, <laughs> pets, that's why pet stores promote sand so much is because everybody thinks that they live in the desert. And I don't. So you can do sand. You can also do brush environment. I have repti carpet. Michi does not care. It's fine. So it doesn't matter what type of substrate you do. It doesn't matter what type of substrate you do. But just be careful when you're. Just be careful with sand because you don't want your dragon to get impaction. So, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it educational. Stay tuned for the next one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.